everyone, and welcome to this month's episode of Princess Auto's See It Work, the show where you get to see our product live in action. I'm your host, Matt, and with me as always is Derek. And in today's episode, we are going to be talking about RV accessories from Camco. If this is your first time joining us or you've been with us before, please feel free to ask us a question in the comments section and you can be entered to win a prize pack. Today's prize pack is going to be an RV accessory pack featuring some of the items we're talking about here today. We would also like to thank Camco for joining us in the comments section to help us answering some of the questions as well as donating some of the prizes that are going to be in the package today. So Derek, we got a lot of products here to uh, talk about. Uh, do. Where do you want to start first? Well, I guess uh, this time of year, everybody's thinking about getting the camper ready and out of storage. Uh, Manitoba, we're not quite there yet. It's still winter here. Um, but uh, some of the things we'll talk about to start, I think you're just kind of uh, refreshing the camper and getting it set up for a new season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep, for sure. Yeah, so off to the left side of the table here. Yeah, yeah we've got a few items. We have the uh, RV roof vent cover. And I'm actually going to be installing one of these on my uh, pop-up trailer this year. Really handy uh, to keep the uh, rain out of that vent if you have it open and you happen to be away from the camp or down at the beach or on a, on a walk or something like that. So we'll take a look at that. Excellent. That sounds good. Yeah. And we've got this. the uh, RV step rug, which is uh, nice to keep the inside of the camper clean. You're in and out travel, um, uh, spring adjust so it fits a, a, a different fitment of uh, steps involved. Yeah. Ooh, very nice. And then uh, just in cleaning, kind of uh, getting everything as, as fresh looking as we can, we've got some black streak remover and the uh, awning cleaner. Um, really easy products to use. They work really well. So uh, something to kind of tidy everything up. Very nice. And when we're actually setting up at the campsite, we're going to have uh, our RV uh, stabilizer jack pads. We're going to talk about those. Um, just to kind of get, uh, you know, a, a support uh, base so you're not uh, walking around and the camper is shifting all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to that end, when you get to the campsite, not every campsite's as level as it looks on the photos when you book it. Uh, we've got some levels here. So really simple, just uh, apply to the trader and uh, just get everything set up as, as level as possible to make it as comfortable as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, a, a touch on uh, RV electrical. We've got uh, one of the adapter cords that we have here. This is the 15 to 30 amp cord. Um, just for uh, applications, maybe a campground that doesn't have 30 amp power or if you're hooking up at home to kind of keep the fridge going and keep everything fresh inside. Excellent. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. We've got a lot of product to uh, go through here today. So uh, let's start talking a little bit more about this uh, roof vent cover here. Absolutely. Then, okay? Yeah. So this is a really quick and easy install and it's, uh, it fits uh, kind of a, you know, a, a range of sizes of vents. Um, there's a small hardware kit with four brackets and the fasteners to attach it to the roof vent. Uh, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to um, open up your roof vent. Uh, you're going to lay down the bracketry uh, kind of approximately where you're going to want to put it put the roof vent cover down over top of that so you can kind of see where everything lines up, mark your holes, and uh, the brackets are actually going to get drilled and installed onto the lip of the vent. So they're not, you know, into the top of the camper for right. leaks or anything. Yeah. And then the uh, cover actually just bolts to that. So oh. there is a small air gap around the bottom. It doesn't have to be sealed to the bottom. Uh, it helps, uh, you know, with the uh, keeping uh, debris out and uh, water and that kind of yeah, thing. But keeping it breathable at the exactly. same time. Exactly. Yeah. There's at the back, if we want to show the back of it here, uh, we have a, a grill panel that is removable and just two screws and it pops down. There is a, a mesh in here to keep out insects and, and debris. If you do happen to get something, you know, blow underneath the, uh, the lid, two screws, pop it open. You can clean it out for uh, storing it for the winter and a uh, nice aerodynamic shape. So when you're driving down the highway, it's not going to mm -hmm. be, you know, buffeting or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, you can see it there. Yeah. Nice. Uh, exactly. And you can it. have, you know, if you've got a couple vents, you can put one in each vent. Um, we've just got the one on ours. So I'm just going to install that. And um, we were caught a couple years ago on a camping trip where we had the vent up. We weren't at the camper mm -hmm. and a little bit of rain got in, not too much, but um, uh, just uh, peace of mind, right? If you want to leave the vent Absolutely. open, if it's nice and warm out that day, but it could be a rainstorm coming, you never know. Um, and uh, yeah, it takes the, uh, takes the worry out of it. Absolutely. You always yeah. want to make sure you're covered. Exactly. <laughs> nice. Whoop. All right. Yeah. How about the uh, next one here? Sure. The, uh RV uh, step rug. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's pretty straightforward. So, I mean, mm -hmm. a big thing is trying to keep the camper clean with kids and dogs and everything running in and out. Um, if you have, uh, you know, one step, two steps, whatever the case is, these guys slide right over top. Uh, if you turn it around, Matt, we'll be able to show them the springs. It does come with the springs to attach it. There's a, a, a kind of a range of sizing that you can uh, work with these. Uh, I believe it's eight to 10 inches deep and 21 inches wide. Um, and uh, just basically hooks onto that uh, step. Um, and, uh, you know, last wipe of your feet when you go in and out of the trailer and uh, yeah 
nice and clean. Yeah, I don't want to be uh, tracking mud into your RVs. That's and right. As we all know, mats are the best thing out there. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I'm on a roll you today. You are on a roll, I'm absolutely. On a roll today. All right, so let's yep. see what else we got here. Sure. What about the uh, cleaning product? Yeah, so we've got Black Streak Remover and the Awning Cleaner. So, I mean, pretty straightforward. Uh, the Black Streak Remover, you're going to see, uh, you know, if the RVs are parked outside for, um, uh, you know, a long time and they maybe haven't been maintained or, um, you know, maybe some, some streaking from some of the weather stripping on the RV, um, you spray the cleaner on a sponge or a microfiber cloth and uh, wipe away, give it a quick rinse, and that's pretty much it. If it's a really Really tough stain or you know you buy a used trailer that hasn't been maintained properly um, you might need a couple goes at it but uh, it'll clean it up uh, in short order and the same with the awning cleaner awning um, your vinyl uh, any exterior type of fabric on an RV uh, or a camper um, you give it a light uh, uh, scrub with a maybe a soft bristle brush right. or a sponge and again rinse it off um, you're gonna put uh, with the RV cleaner or the awning cleaner I should say bucket of water maybe four ounces in a gallon something like that and uh, yeah give it a quick clean and then rinse it off and looking good all right so yeah yep. this would work with something like a rv cover or the tire covers as well yep the tire covers Excellent. to protect it from the sun yeah keep them yeah. clean so they're in, it's just in good shape right yeah yep. yeah it's always good to get that uh multi-use out of there for That's our right. chemicals yep absolutely well. Looking good here. How yeah. about we uh, look a little bit at the uh, stabilizing jack pads here? Yeah. These look pretty interesting. Yeah, right? those are neat. So, I mean, you know, you get to the campsite, you want to set everything up. Um, this comes in a pack of four, and it's got a nice little uh, Velcro strap here to keep everything contained. They actually nest together. Mm -hmm. um, they've got a little bit of a ridge around the edge of them. So they do stack, you know, kind of like this. Very nice. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, basically just drop it down. The uh, pad goes down from the uh, from the uh, stabilizing jack mm -hmm. and a lot of people do think that it goes down like this so you'd put right. the grid face down mm -hmm. actually you want to have it the flat face down on the ground oh okay and that's going to help stop any kind of sinking action that you're going to get if it happens to be a little soft maybe the gravel's a little bit soft had some rain or something like that and uh, that's going to distribute the load just fine um, there are some you know, six inch stands it's about a six inch square here that would be able to support some of the older pop-ups have stands that are separate most of the newer campers have ones that are attached and uh, yeah you drop them down and when you're ready to go pick them up put the strap back on it throw them in the camper or in the vehicle and you're off to the races yeah, yeah. wow look at that absolutely learning something new every day yeah well, uh, maybe we can learn something new here, but uh, yeah. <laughs> what can we learn about the uh, level here? So this is really straightforward stuff. When you get down to it and you're stabilizing the jack uh, on you know each corner of your RV, you want to make sure that it's level. Um, it's not comfortable to sleep on an uneven surface. Um, you know, you might have a dip in the back corner of the side, one side of a, of a parking pad. So with the level, um, you can level top and side of unit and it's very straightforward there's a couple of screw holes there you can keep one if you want to just throw it on the top if you're trying to do a quick level job mm -hmm. parking the driveway or something like that um, yeah really straightforward and very handy i mean there's a bunch of different types of levels but that standard type of level is uh, really easy to spot you can get your kids to help you tell them watch for the bubble in the circle they can mm -hmm. say good to go and then you can stop jacking the trailer up yeah very yeah. nice easy uh, accessory to get that's right we got the last one over here to look at which is the electrical adapter yeah so this is really handy um, again so some of the campsites that you're gonna go to won't have a 30 amp service which is pretty common for most of the campsites 30 50 amp services for some of the bigger units um, so the 15 amp circuit common household circuit that you're going to have in your walls in your garage um, it's going to have that kind of uh, you know three prong like you'd have on an extension cord mm -hmm. and then of course the standard 30 amp RV outlet end that you're going to have on the cord and this is the uh, power grip so it's got the nice handle there for you know locking everything in nice and tight uh, basically you're going to plug this into the wall and uh, put your RV cord onto that uh, if you're parking at home and you want to keep some food in the fridge if you're going out you know for another trip maybe later in the week some things you have in the freezer maybe you can keep that running keep a battery tender going those kind of things or like at home if we're not camping the kids like to sleep outside in the camper uh, hook it up and they have lights they've got uh, uh, you know the uh, fan if they need it that kind of thing uh, very handy to have and there's nice. a range of adapters that we have this is just one of them there's too many to bring in we didn't yeah, we didn't want to sure. run that long so. no it's good to know that princess yeah. auto carries a much bigger uh, selection that's right so uh, for anybody who is just joining us right now we are talking about rv accessories from camco if you have any questions regarding this product, please feel free to add it in our comment section and you could be entered to win an RV accessory prize package. So we're gonna actually take some of those questions Sounds right now good. and uh, we'll see what we can answer here. Yeah. So uh, Robert Looker is asking, would the RV package work with a Volkswagen van, van wagon? 
the RV, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things you can use. I mean, you can clean um, the outside of a vehicle with, uh, with uh, the cleaner. If it happens to be one of the older Volkswagens, maybe with the pop-up roof, has the canvas on it, mm -hmm. um, the awning, you can clean that as well. Um, and depending on how you have it set up, some people retrofit some of the campers. They have a higher power, maybe an air conditioning unit in it. Mm -hmm. The adapter will work for that. Um, yeah, so there's a, a range of items here that'll work for it. Yeah. Excellent, that's yeah. good to know. Uh, Diana Darbyshire is uh, asking, what's a good chemical to use in gray water to help break down toilet paper? Well, uh, the RV toilet paper that we have does break down quickly uh, in the uh, in the tanks, but um, there are drop-ins you can get to kind of aid in that. Um, it's, uh, uh, you know, for someone who's going on-site camping or uh, maybe traveling and, uh, you know, uh, say a motorhome uh, where you don't have to stop to go to the bathroom, you right. can use it there at a rest stop or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, there's chemicals to drop in and, uh, you know, freshen up the, the area. It's not going to have an odor to it right. and also help everything break down. But the RV toilet paper does break down quite easily and that's really a, a kind of key to have on the on the campsite it's yeah very yeah. true yeah that toilet paper is very important yep. uh we have another question here from tom uh do we sell the trailer stands i believe the uh like the the holding stands or like a trailer jack stand uh well we have the trailer tongue jacks okay. um we don't have any um stabilizer jacks like the old style of pop-up campers had the stabilizer jacks that would kind of fit into here um but we do have the the trailer tongue jacks we have uh, manual and powered ones so uh, a good selection of those yep mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. uh, another one here from Rick Harper. Uh, are there different size jack pads that we sell? Uh, not that we sell. There are available, but not that we sell. In our assortment, we have this as kind of a standard size. There are some larger ones. They come in pairs for uh, heavier pieces of equipment, uh, but we do have just the six inch ones. All right. Yep. Uh, another one here from Alan Ashton asking, are the cleaning products biodegradable? That's a good question. Maybe our Camco experts can jump into the chat and answer that for us. That's good. Yeah, yeah. that would be very helpful. Thanks, Camco. Yeah. Uh, we'll do a few more here before we uh, move on. Uh, John is asking, do you have something to level the trailer or do you have to use the two supports that are under the wheel? So the, typically the trailer would be leveled with the equipment that would come with it. Um, at the, the point where that piece of equipment is located on the trailer would be the optimum spot that the engineers would decide. So um, you could level you know, elsewhere with, uh, you know, blocks of wood or something, if it was going to be more of a uh, permanent kind of installation at a campsite where you're going to maybe build a deck off of it or something like that. Um, but uh, realistically, if it's just a camp, you're going there for a weekend or a week or something like that, the equipment that's on the vehicle is kind of what you're going to use to uh, stabilize everything. Uh, that sounds, that sounds good. I yep. uh, got another question here from uh, John Butcher asking, can the cleaner be used on the siding for a home? I assume he's looking at the, uh, the cleaner yeah. here. Um, that's a good question. I couldn't see why it wouldn't. It is compatible with vinyl and typically vinyl siding on the house. But again, Camco might be able to, uh, they might have run across that uh, instance before. They could maybe help us out with that. All right. Yeah. Uh, we'll take one more here before moving on. Uh, Darcy is asking, is everything here available individually? And are there different size roof pop-ups? So everything that we have here is available in our assortment and it is able to purchase individually. Uh, this is the only size vent that cover that we do carry currently. Um, Possibly in the future, we might have something in a different size, but this is the only one currently that we have in our inventory. So, All right, yep. good stuff. Well, we'll uh, still take some questions, so please feel free to send them in and you can be entered to Absolutely. win a prize package. But I'd say for now, let's move on to yeah. uh, some more products. I see you got a whole bunch in front of you here, so, yeah. so I'd love to hear. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll go through quickly what we've got here. So this is kind of going to be the freshwater setup, and then we'll get into a just a quick uh, uh, issue uh, with the sewer hose at the end. Nobody likes to deal with that, but we'll talk about it quickly. Um, yeah, but you know, when you get to the campsite and you're all set up and everything's leveled and stabilized, um, you want to hook up the water, right? So you want to have nice tasting water. Um, so we've got, you know, our RV water hose, uh, marine RV application. We've got uh, charcoal filters, um, the um, uh, pure taste. So it's uh, going to clean up any kind of smell or odor that might be in there, uh, take out some of the contaminants that are in the water. And uh, into that same kind of vein, we've got a water pressure regulator and a 90 degree hose adapter. So with these guys here, uh, the regulator is kind of important and we'll touch on that uh, in a, just a minute. Um, and the uh, adapter for the 90 degree is kind of going to be uh, important when you get to hooking up the water hose and it's going to have water in it. So the water is going to add some weight, 
put a filter on it. That's going to add more weight with water in it, of course. Um, and that's going to take the strain off that um, hose coming right out and possibly kinking or damaging the hose. Yeah. Um, just a quick note, the filters do come with a small flexible hose to attach it to kind of take the strain off as well. So it's just going to be more beneficial to the system. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, eventually we're going to have to unfortunately talk about winterizing a camper. Mm -hmm. And we have some options here for blowing out the air uh, or blowing air into the water lines. So we've got a standard brass RV blowout plug and we've got a, a six inch uh, rubber hose attachment with a ball valve. So that's handy um, for closing off and doing different circuits in a larger motorhome perhaps. Um, we'll touch base on that in a quick second. And with the winterizing in mind, um, you're gonna be putting uh, RV antifreeze into the uh, water system as well. And this is a hand pump to be able to transfer out of the jug into the system really quickly. Um, and we'll go through that when we talk about the blowout plugs. And the last item we've got here is one of the sewer hoses that we do carry. This is a 20 foot long kit with two 10 foot hoses and uh, attachments and fittings. And like I say, we'll touch on that at the very end of it. I'm gonna wrap up. Um, so when we get to the site, we're gonna wanna hook up. Now, um, not every campsite has regulated water pressure. And in some cases it can be quite high. Right. So again, you've got some uh, issues with uh, anything over say 40, 50 pounds, which is what this regulator is set at. Um, if you have 60, 70 or higher PSI in the system, um, it can be detrimental to some of the equipment that you're gonna have in the camper. Sure. So this can screw on in line. It can be screwed on right at the tap. It can be screwed on right before the RV, wherever you find it in line. It's as long as it's in line, it's gonna help that, um, that uh, pressure drop and keep it static and the 90 degree adapter is basically um, you're going to put this right on the unit right at the camper mm -hmm. and then you know it's going to screw in here it's going to drop straight down at 90 degrees give it some support uh, allow the hose to um, hang freely and uh, just take the um, uh, the danger of having a kink in there away and then you know you're going to have to go and try and figure out where the line is and what's mm -hmm. interrupting it where the water's coming out um, water hose, obviously very straightforward, very similar to a garden hose, but it has um, a very specific application for drinking water. And again, you can use it to fill up a freshwater tank in a boat, mm -hmm. use it for your RV. And um, it's a quick swivel attachment to it, standard garden hose fittings. Um, again, to take the smell out of the, of right. some of the water yeah, you're gonna have. And of course, the garden hose smell or the taste of the garden hose, if you're gonna get that in the system. Yep. Now these filters here, we'll pop the box open here. Um, these are really handy because uh, again, you're not sure where you're gonna get the water from. If it's been you know any length of time, um, it's going to be a, um, uh, you know, possibly a very smelly kind of a water coming out of it. So you're going to put these in line. There is a flow indicator right here. So there's an arrow here, flow out. So as long as the water is coming through here and going out that way, um, you're going to purge this for maybe 10, 15 seconds. You'll see the water run clear after it's going to wash the carbon out because there is a, uh, uh, an activating, uh, carbon filter uh, kind of material in there and also a, um, another uh, antibacterial uh, component in here. When it's sitting static, it's not gonna grow bacteria. Um, it's gonna keep that as fresh as possible. Mm -hmm. And there's a small note on the side here, a blank slate for writing out uh, day, month, year when you put the uh, filter in, just to kind of keep an eye on how long it's been there because you know not everybody's got filters on the brain when they're going camping, they're doing right. other things and they're, uh, you know, just to keep an eye on how long that's gonna be on yep. the camper. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're gonna wanna make sure you have that fresh water. That's right, yeah. Yeah, so uh, for anybody who is just joining us, we are talking about RV accessories today from Camco. We've got a whole bunch of great products lined up in front of us here. If you have any questions for Derek, please feel free to drop them in our comment section and you can be entered to win an RV accessory prize pack, including some of these amazing products we're looking at right now. So we're going to go to some of those questions right now and sure. see what we can answer here. So we have another, we have a question here from Michelle Simpson. Do you carry BAL level, levelers? BAL, um, I'm not familiar with that. I don't believe we do. I don't think we have that in our inventory. Okay. Um, we've got another one here from uh, Rusty Mingo. Uh, the chemical used for cleaning the black, uh, black water runs off. Will that cause the sealant around the windows to break down more? No. No, it, no, it won't be caustic to the point where it's going to start breaking down either the weather stripping or the sealant. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, it's just strictly there to take off that uh, kind of a 
tar or debris or anything that's kind of uh, you know road debris that's on the camper, or of course the streaking from the weather stripping. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. That won't makes harm sense. the finish of the uh, of the of the material either. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. We got another question here from uh, Frank asking about the PSI. Uh, what is the PSI for water pressure? So I assume what would we need for an RV? So this is regulated down between 40 and 50 pounds, and that's okay. exactly what you're going to need. No more, um, no less. The uh, you know if you have roll into a site that has 70 pounds, um, if your system is that specific to um, needing 40 to 50 pounds, there could be damage. I mean, 20 pounds doesn't sound like a lot of extra right. pressure, but on top of the 40 or 50 already delivered, mm -hmm. it can be a little bit stressful on some of the components in there. Is that roughly yeah. about the water pressure at like your house on the spigot outside? It depends on, you know, if you're on obviously on civic water or on a well, um, mm -hmm. depending on where you're at, um, you know, 70 pounds can be you know, reached in some cases right. in some civic systems. Okay. Typically a little bit lower, but you're in that range. Yeah, okay. Uh, we have another question here from John Butcher asking, uh, do you have any on tap water heaters? Uh, no, we do not. Oh, no. Okay. So got a lot of product, just missing those few. Yeah. Um, we got another one here. Can the home plug adapter be used with a battery tender over winter so as not to remove the batteries from the RV? Uh, you could, as long as the um, the connections are kind of kept uh, as maybe waterproof as possible, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't want you know the cord to be laying in the in the you know the snow in case there was some melting or whatnot. Um, but uh, that's really one of the applications. It would be to kind of keep that tender topping the battery up. Although if it's very very cold out, the output from the battery tender may not keep up with the demand to keep the battery as warm as possible, and oh, this okay. battery could still freeze. Yeah, right. for sure. Yeah. Yep. Um, got another great question here from Jax Bailey. What's the best way to sanitize and maintain the sewer hose for putting them away? Well, typically when you go to a, a drop station and we can touch base, you know, with, uh, with the sewer hose here, um, you're going to have, um, uh, at minimum at the station where you're going to be dumping, um, a garden hose and a sprayer. So, uh, quickly rinsing it. Um, commonly, you're not going to be cleaning it at the site. Mm -hmm. um, that would be more so something maybe when you get home uh, and have a little bit more time to do that. Um, there could be a lineup at some of the sites and some of the busier camp areas. Um, but just basically giving it a quick rinse. Uh, hosing typically is gonna store in the uh, RV bumpers. Okay. So you're gonna remove the cap, slide the hosing in. Um, there's gonna be you know some cubbies where you might have a, a bin or a box to put some of the fittings in. And your gloves, you're gonna be wanting to wear waterproof gloves when you're doing that kind of work. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can take a little bit more care and time at home to sanitize. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. All right, we're going to do a few more questions here before moving on. We got some great questions here about the uh, water filters, actually. Sure. Um, so DH wants to know, are the water filters reusable or do you throw them away after each use? Uh, no, you'd be disposing of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they are disposable units. That's right. Great to know. Great yeah. to know. Uh, we got another one here from Rick Harper asking, how often should you change the water filters? That, I knew we were going to get that question asked, and I'm going to rely one. on Camco. There might be a, uh, a certain gallon kind of flow uh, parameter that they set by, but again, it's like asking how long an air filter will last in a car. Uh, you know, the dirtier the environment, the more use, the more time of running. Same thing, the more flow through the filter. Uh, if you only use it once or twice a season, it's probably going to last a lot longer. If you're using it all season at maybe a campsite where you have uh, an RV hooked up, all the time and you're yep. using it you know maybe uh, a month at a time or going down there every weekend uh, it might be more of a seasonal change for sure yeah all right and we got another question here from Don asking does the 15 to 30 amp plug adapter have a power on indicator light I don't believe so I don't see any indication here that would have uh, no there is no LED indicating light on this guy okay and uh, another one here from Jerry asking, do we carry any power surge protectors for RV? We do not, not uh, currently, no. Yep. Always chance to uh, yep. get more though. A popular question. All right, well, uh, before we kind of wrap things up, is there yeah. any other kind of final tips on uh, maintenance or things that we can look at doing for our RV? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we've got our, like we talked about our blowout plugs and our antifreeze pumps. So with the blowout plugs, um, uh, a standard air compressor, doesn't have to be anything really large, um, can be used on these guys here. They have an M style fitting, which is the most common air fitting you're gonna have that might come with a kit of air fittings if you buy them uh, you know, at Princess Auto and, uh, or if you go and specifically want to build something uh, on the end of a compressor line. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a straight M style fitting, um, threads right in, garden hose fittings, and you're gonna purge the water out of a system. Um, you know, you're gonna do one tap at a time, right. if you have a shower, that kind of thing. And um, this guy has a, a, a blow, uh, a, 
flexible hose on it and a ball valve. So you can turn it off, you don't have to run outside, turn the compressor back on, and uh, you can have somebody cycling it off and on, or if you want to leave it charged, um, the benefit to that is it's going to purge as much of the water out, and then you're going to come up after with some RV antifreeze, and basically it's a hand pump, it's a transfer pump. So it's going to siphon out of the jug of RV antifreeze, and then as you push it back down, it's going to pump it in through the system. And again, you'll go circuit to circuit throughout the system right. and make sure that everything is running uh, either pink or orange, depending on the type of antifreeze you're using. Mm -hmm. And uh, as long as the water is expelled and the antifreeze is in the lines, there's no chance of having any damage from freezing or cracking in yeah. weather. It can take a very small amount of water to actually cause a lot of damage in fittings. Absolutely. And one less thing to do in the spring when you actually have to, you know, get everything set up to go camping again. So it's a little bit of peace of mind. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Especially the can kind of uh, Canadian winters we get. It yeah. can get very cold That's and right. you never know when it's exactly going to happen. Yeah. So. And then you just, uh, in the springtime, you uh, flush it with uh, fresh water and let it run free hook up a new filter and you're back for a season of camping. absolutely yep. we can only hope that this winter weather is going to end soon so we can start enjoying our rv products and unfortunately our time here today is ending now i would like to thank you all for joining us today for talking about these great rv accessories from camco again thank you to camco for supplying us these great products to be able to give away for our today's prize package and on that note, I would like to congratulate John Trethway. Um, apologies if I get that last name uh, pronounced incorrectly, but congratulations, John Trethway from YouTube. You are our winner for today. We will contact you in regards to the uh, RV uh, accessory prize package, and I know you're going to enjoy it. Absolutely. So thank you again for everybody for joining. Derek, thank you for coming to answer these questions. You're very welcome. And we're looking forward to, looking forward to seeing you next month. Take care, everybody.